So a lot of people search for the meaning of life, and it's a malformed question. There is no meaning of life. There is meaning to whom. There is a second part of the question that must be asked. So for instance, what is the, the meaning of a piece of bread? Well, did you just steal it and you're going to jail? Are you starving and it's going to save your life? Is it choking you to death by being lodged in your airway? There is no meaning to a, a piece of bread. There's meaning to whom at a certain time. And so when you ask the question, what is the meaning of life in the correct way, the meaning of life to you in this case, you'll find that a good answer is it's quality times quantity. How enjoyable can life be? And how long can you be enjoying it for? And you can prove that by throwing some large and small numbers in there. All right, let's set quality to zero. We'll call it infinite pain. How long do you want to be there? You don't. Okay. Let's, let's set time to one minute. Obviously, you didn't get to make too many great relationships in that minute, as long as you're a biological analog self. Well, you know, so time matters and quality matters. And you can't 10x increase quality because we're the limiting factor. Our taste buds, our, uh, our senses can only detect goodness to such a high level, right? Like how much better is music now than 20 years ago? If you study the ability to compress lyrics, it's worse because it's more repetitive, right? If you, uh, you know, how much better is food today? Not much, right? But could we, yeah, with you on this. could we live twice as long, healthy health span? Sure. Three times? Sure. So we can get exponential improvement in health span, and we can't get exponential improvement in quality. And yet, everyone pretends like nothing can be done. But it can, right? Like AIDS used to kill the shit out of people, and now it doesn't. But because it, the progress was slow, no one really notices, right? And I guess not that many people have AIDS to really popularize the issue these days, right? Or even the people that do have it don't feel obligated to advertise it because, you know, they're going to live and, and not infect other people anyway. So, you know, maybe they don't need to, like, spend their life capital on, on advertising that position. So what I would like to see is human beings caring about their loved ones, caring about themselves, and trying to save their own lives by investing in the meat. We are the meat, right? So everyone's good at the electron. Everyone's good at the game. Everyone's good at the rate my sandwich app. Everyone's good at fashion, F1 racing, space travel, Mars, AI. Great. All this different cool shit. I'm good at it too. Fabulous. But we're fucking dying. Like I'm dying, right? You can look at pictures of me 10 years ago. I looked a lot younger, right? Well, 10 years from now, I'm going to look shittier still. And I could be making money on biotech. I could be investing in the space. I could be doing startups. I could be helping other people care about saving their own lives, and then more lives would get saved. It would suck to be the last guy to die from polio because the dude that cured it like had lunch an hour early one day, and now you're just the last guy to fucking die of it because that guy took a break, right? So how do you get people to care about their own lives? We have to show them it's possible. And to tell you the truth, you got to show them there's money in it because people can't shake that significance, right? We need the significance, right? Money is how guys keep track of whether they're successful, depending on your culture, right? You know, money, power, respect. Uh, so in my book, I break down. So my theory is, okay, I've, I've retired at young age, traveled the world, had shitloads of sex. I've done the whole man thing pretty decently well. If I can pivot people, if I can get people to a similar place, if I can show them success, if I can show them how to find love, get rich, travel the world, be happy, be stronger, be faster, you know, be smarter. If I can, if I can give them the quan, if I can give them everything, then maybe I can pivot them and saying, hey, now that you've lived the dream, let's have it stick around for a while, right? 